<laughs> They're Kenny Rodan is from who wrote the book Men Get Pregnant and of course Men Get Pregnant Two dot com. Uh, we're talking about parenting styles. All of this, Kenny. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. All of this sort of has come up because of a case of uh, this, these parents uh, stateside who are called. They had a free. They're free range parents. It's right. not like free range organic chicken. This is a style <laughs> of parenting. Sound like that, though. Yeah, <laughs> they got in trouble because they let their kids walk to school by themselves and uh, sort of smaller ages. And we're seeing more and more of these labels, uh, right. free range, helicopter, tiger, yeah. What, yeah. What, why the labels, first of all? Because we're crazy. Okay. That's, that's why the labels. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Like free range parenting, these kids were 10 and 6, and they were off in a park on their own. 10 and 6, so a four-year-old and a kid in kindergarten off on their own, and somebody got concerned to call the cops. And now there's a whole debate. The parents are up in arms going, we're free range parents. Free range parents, basically the philosophy is, is you, you're a little freer to let your children develop and explore. So it's a, a, is it a bit of a laissez-faire attitude, if you will? So they say, but the, I don't consider myself a free-range parent, but I'm all for my kids developing and exploring. Okay. Right? So the other big terms we're hearing, tiger mom, right. which is sort of like a very... Tiger mom is very academic-oriented. So a tiger mom, I suppose it could be a tiger dad, too, yes. but no one talks about that, <laughs> is, is really being almost militaristic about pushing your kids to do well academically. That's a sort of a tiger mom. Helicopter? Helicopter is, uh, let's say, I, I let my 10-year-old go to the park with his friend and I have him bring a walkie-talkie and I say, okay, come back by 4 o'clock because I want to know you're okay. That's sort of helicoptering. Okay. Hovering, that's where they get to turn from. You're hovering over your kids. You're sort of taking a little more control than some people think you should be. And, and I think, Kenny, the important thing is, is your, your concern here is the fact that these labels are not great for parents. Tell me why you think they're limiting to parents. It's in the good old days, I think before uh, Internet especially, is there was no comparison. You had your kids. You did what you wanted. You got together with your friends who had kids and everybody did their own thing. We are so stuck now on comparing our kids to each other and creating angst within ourselves and now comparing, creating labels among parents. Oh, free range parenting. No, no, I don't subscribe to that. It, it's totally illogical. Right. Because anybody who has more than one child will say your kids are as different from each other as night and day. I mean, parents who have 10 kids will tell you I have 10 different individuals. Parents who have 10 kids are exhausted. Um, yes, they are. Period. They to, they'll just say, oh. Yes, I'm tired. They're just going to snooze. But that is a good point. You know, you were just telling me about sort of having different kids and life changing every day and your kids change every day. Absolutely. I, I have two different kids and they have two different needs. You'll have a kid who's a little more independent, might need a little more guidance. Another one you'll trust a little more. Yeah, yeah, he's off, but him, I'm not worried. You know, I know he'll be back on time. It's, I think we need to give ourselves a break. Even there's so much rhetoric and people get so angry with each other that you're infringing on my right to be a free range parent or a helicopter parent or especially with the free range parents is the system worked, right? A stranger saw two young kids, 10 and 6, walking on their own, and then six walking on their own. They were a little concerned. They called the cops. The cops looked into it. The parents were vindicated. Right. That's the system working. Agree with it or don't agree with it. It's not unusual that someone sees a couple of young kids and might and pick up the concerned. phone and call authorities. I think bottom line is what you're trying to say is adaptability. Don't put yourself into that box. Exactly. You may have a hard time getting out of it. Ex exactly. Six months from now, you're going to go, well, I was into the free range thing, but that didn't really work for one of my kids because his toe got run over. <laughs> Oh, let's not have that happen. Kenny Bodanis, right. Men Get Pregnant Dude, thank you so much. Come back anytime.